hello everyone in this video i will talk about how you can find arc length of a curve and how you can find the surface area after rotating the curve about x-axis and about y-axis so let's start so in this question first question we have that find the length of the curve x equals to y cubed for x goes from 0 to 3 let's just plot the curve to understand the question properly you don't have to plot it in the assignment so let's use contour plot to plot x equals to y cubed the range of the x i want is from minus 10 to 10 and y goes from minus 10 to 10 as well also take the axis so this is the curve we are talking about and we have to find the length of this curve for x equals to 0 to x equals to 3. So let's see that. So this point is uh, 3. So we have to find the length of this curve from 0 to x equals to 3. So you can see that there are two formulas to solve this uh, question. You can use either of them to find the length, arc length of this uh, equation but we can always choose the easier one so what is the easier one in our case so we are given x equals to y cubed so we can plug that value of x inside dx by dy so the second one is easier for us if we were given the function of x uh, y equals to function of x then you could use the first one but in the second one we have to integrate with respect to y so we have to plug in the limit for y not for the x so we are given the limit of x not the y so we have to find out the limit of y for this curve we can easily see that for x equals to 0, y is equals to 0. So the lower limit should be 0 for y. But we don't know the upper limit. So let's find out the upper limit. So let's just uh, set x equals to 3 and find out what y is, what the upper limit is. So I will solve y cubed equals to 3 and find out what y is. And I only want the real solution. So I will write reals inside solve. Let's take the numerical value. So this should be our upper limit. So we have the lower limit and the upper limit for the formula. So let's just find out the length now. So write the sign of the definite integral. The lower limit should be 0. And the upper limit should be this one. And we also have to find dx by dy. So I will find dx by dy before doing the integral. So we have to differentiate y cubed with respect to y. So this is our dx by dy. We can plug in the value of that now. So let's complete the integral. So square root of 1 plus. So we know dx by dy is 3y squared. So we we'll write 3y squared whole squared. And we are integrating with respect to y. So this is the length of the curve for x goes from 0 to 3. So this is how you can find the arc length of a curve in Mathematica. So let's just move on to the next problem. So we have this problem. Find the surface area obtained by rotating the curve. The same curve we had before x equals to y cubed for x goes from 0 to 3. So we have to rotate it about x axis and also about y axis and find the surface area obtained by rotating the curve. Let's just go back and see the curve. So this was our curve. So we have to rotate it about x axis. This is the x axis. So we have to rotate it about x axis and we have to find the surface area of the figure we get 
and also we have to rotate it about y axis and also we have to find the surface area after rotating the curve about y axis so in the first question we have to rotate the curve about x axis for x goes from 0 to 3 so the formula is twice by y ds so we have to integrate twice by y ds uh, from a to b and if we rotate the curve about y axis we have to integrate twice by x ds from a to b so these are the formulas so for rotating about x axis the formula is twice by y ds and for rotating about y axis the formula is twice by x ds and we have two ds you can use either of them uh, to solve the problem so we can plug in any of the ds in our formula but which is the easier one so in, in our case we have x equals to y cubed so x is uh, x equals to function of y so you can easily find dx by dy and so it will be easy for us if we choose this ds in our case we could use the first one if we had uh, y equals to function of x uh, so for about x axis let's just write the formula Again, we are choosing the second ds, so uh, we have to find out the dx by dy. We have to differentiate the value of x, which is y cubed, with respect to uh, y. So we have to find out dx by dy. So d, uh, y cubed, and we are differentiating with respect to y, so 3y squared. And we have to plug this uh, into the value of dx by dy. So let's just find out the surface area now. So we are integrating with respect to y. So we have to put the limit of y. We found out the limit previously. Let's copy paste that. So the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit was this. So let's be careful about the limit. Um, so let's just plug in the value of the limit. And uh, the formula is twice by y. So as we are integrating with respect to y, we don't have to change the y. We can just keep the y as it is. Because we are integrating with respect to y, so we don't have to write y equals to something. We just can uh, keep the y as it is. So let's just keep y. And then we have to write ds. So the ds is 1 plus dx by dy whole squared. So 1 plus. So dx by dy is 3y squared. So 3y squared whole squared. and dy so what we have done until now we have uh, used the formula about x-axis and use the second ds uh, in the second dx we had to integrate with respect to y so we kept the y as it is and plug in the limit for y and if we press shift enter now we'll get the surface area so this is the surface area now let's move on to the next question. In the next question, we have to rotate the curve about y-axis. So about y-axis, the formula is twice by x ds. So S2, let's just write S2 as the surface area. So again, we are uh, integrating uh, with respect to y because we will be using the second ds because we have the expression as x equals to function of y so we know what dx by dy is so the limit is 0 to that value and this time I will have to write twice by x but we cannot uh, just keep x there because we are integrating with respect to y so we have to write the uh, 
uh, value of x which is y cubed so we'll have to write twice by y cubed because twice by because x equals to y cubed so we have to um, replace x with y cubed because we are integrating with respect to y and then just 1 plus 3y square whole squared which is our ds dy so what we did we used the formula twice by x ds and in our ds we had dy so we are integrating with respect to y so we had to substitute the value of x uh, in the first question we didn't have to do that because the formula had twice by y ds and we were integrating with respect to y so we didn't have to change the y but in the second question we had to substitute the value of x so if you press shift enter now we'll see the surface area so this is the surface area after rotating the curve about y axis for x goes from 0 to 3. So that's all. Uh, see you in the next week.